Yeah. Still Dolo was a walk through Smog's cave. You couldn't match me on an off day for a high price with a fresh start. If I touch a feature, it'll be the best part. With an X on my heart, I'm a double cross soul. Now I'm getting cross and I'm tossing a hole. But my goals are not for will be met. Each vice got me looking like a filthy mess. When a cup of coastal water, I never get through the piracy. Pushing through people, pinning them down to a pole of ivory. Polio, scoliosis, a poise through diagnosis. Set for surgery, searching for where the professor clone is. So basically, I'm sick. Always on the move, cause the clock got a tendency to tick Channeling the pain has been the remedy I pick And if I didn't go harder, it would never be legit So show me whose name still rings through the hall Cause I will give it all when it's sink or fall The reach tall, but the grip never holds for long Put a callus on my soul, now it's cold and strong Unholy, jaded by the years of work I do fear, but I can't let it tear It hurts, I might burst cause it builds up behind my skin But keep it in, cause I'm already soaked in sin Never giving up another moment of pressure I'm holding it together through my focus and effort And I don't ever want to purposefully push for the paper Before the music cause I will evaporate with the vapor Any hater can assimilate to be with the pack A fake fan when I jam on the phone in the back See a murder on the track, but you had to react But when I came up short, it wasn't cutting me slack So I bit down hard on the bullet and chewed Spitting like a baby when it's full of its food Now I'm like Blade, if you ever throw shade I'ma have to throw it back like a mullet is cool Man, I swear, growing up is crazy All the hate is fusing, not enough to phase me I'm hard on myself when I'm acting lazy Cause the plane's in flight, I can't crash it safely This is my story, my scripts are written In the same game, but we answer different I don't use a gimmick to promote a watered-down sound I refine my technique underground When I cover coastal water, I navigate through the piracy Pushing through people, pinning them down to a pole of ivory Polio, scoliosis, a poise through diagnosis Except for surgery, searching for where the professor clone is So basically, I'm sick Always on the move, cause the clock got a tendency to tick Channeling the pain has been the remedy I pick And if I didn't go harder, it would never be legit So show me whose name still rings through the hall Cause I will give it all when it sink or fall The reach tall, but the grip never holds for long For the callus on my soul, now it's cold and strong Unholy, jaded by the years of work I do fear, but I can't let it tear It hurts, I might burst cause it builds up behind my skin But keep it in, cause I'm already soaked in sin I said show me whose name still rings through the hall Cause I will give it all when it sink or fall to reach tall But the grip never holds for long Put a callus on my soul, now it's cold and strong I'm unholy, jaded by the years of work I do fear, but I can't let it tear It hurts, I might burst Cause it builds up behind my skin But keep it in, I'm already soaked in sin Yeah. Still Dolo was a walk through Smog's cave. You couldn't match me on an off day for a high price with a fresh start. If I touch a feature, it'll be the best part. With an X on my heart, I'm a double cross soul. Now I'm getting cross and I'm tossing a hole. But my goals are not for will be met. Each vice got me looking like a filthy mess. When I cover coastal water, I never get through the piracy. Pushing through people, pinning them down to a pole of ivory. Polio, scoliosis, a poise through diagnosis. Set for surgery, searching for where the professor clone is. So basically, I'm sick. Always on the move, cause the clock got a tendency to tick. Channeling the pain has been the remedy I pick. And if I didn't go harder, it would never be legit. So show me whose name still rings through the hall. Cause I will give it all when it's sink or fall. The reach tall, but the grip never holds for long. Put a callus on my soul, now it's cold and strong. Unholy, jaded by the years of work. I do fear, but I can't let it tear. It hurts, I might burst. Cause it builds up behind my skin. But keep it in, cause I'm already soaked in sin. Never giving up another moment of pressure I'm holding it together through my focus and effort And I don't ever want to purposefully push for the paper Before the music cause I will evaporate with the vapor Any hater can assimilate to be with the pack A fake fan when I jam on the phone in the back See a murder on the track, look at how to react But when I came up short, it wasn't cutting me slack So I bit down hard on the bullet and chewed Spitting like a baby when it's full of its food Now I'm like Blade, if you ever throw shade I'ma have to throw it back like a mullet is cool 
Man, I swear growing up is crazy. All the hate is fusing, not enough to phase me. I'm hard on myself when I'm acting lazy. Cause the planes of flight, I can't crash it safely. This is my story, my scripts are written. In the same game, but we answer different. I don't use a gimmick to promote a watered down sound. I refine my technique underground. When a couple comes to water, I navigate through the piracy. Pushing through people, pinning them down to a pole of ivory. Polio, scoliosis, a poise through diagnosis. Except for surgery, researching for where the professor clone is. So basically, I'm sick. Always on the move, cause the clock got a tendency to tick. Channeling the pain is the remedy I pick. And if I didn't go harder, it would never be legit. So show me whose name still rings through the hall, cause I will give it all. When the sink of fall, the reach tall, but the grip never holds for long. Put a callus on my soul, now it's cold and strong, unholy. Jaded by the years of work, I do fear, but I can't let it tear. It hurts, I might burst, cause it builds up behind my skin. But keep it in, cause I'm already soaked in sin. I said, show me whose name still rings through the hall, cause I will give it all. When the sink of fall, the reach tall, but the grip never holds for long. Put a callus on my soul, now it's cold and strong, I'm unholy. Jaded by the years of work, I do fear, but I can't let it tear. It hurts. I my purse, cause it builds up behind my skin to keep it in. I'm already soaked in sin. Still Dolo was a walk through Smog's cave You couldn't match me on an off day For a high price with a fresh start If I touch a feature, it'll be the best part With an X on my heart, I'm a double cross soul Now I'm getting cross and I'm tossing a hole But my goals are not for will be met Each vice got me looking like a filthy mess When I cover coast to water, I navigate through the piracy Pushing through people, pitting them down to a pole of ivory Polio, scoliosis, a poise through diagnosis Except for surgery, searching for where the professor clone is so basically I'm sick, always on the move Cause the clock got a tendency to tick Channeling the pain has been the remedy I pick And if I didn't go harder, it would never be legit So show me whose name still rings through the hall Cause I will give it all when the sink of fall The reach tall, but the grip never holds for long Put a callus on my soul, now it's cold and strong Unholy, jaded by the years of work I do fear, but I can't let it tear It hurts, I might burst Cause it builds up behind my skin But keep it in, cause I'm already soaked in sin Never giving up another moment of pressure. I'm holding it together through my focus and effort. And I what is up, everybody? How are you guys doing tonight? What's up, Matias, The Oxel, Gamer Zone, Eric? Thank you guys for waiting. I saw you guys in Discord. Hi, hi, hi. <clears throat> and Miss Ren is behind me as well. We got a really cool night for you guys. Um, you guys saw my thumbnail probably already, but we got some uh, weighing to be doing today, which is gonna, it's kind of sus, but uh, I promise you we're going to be opening every single pack that we uh, weigh, and uh, we're not gonna, we're not up to any shady business today, 100%, all right? But enough of that. Let me go ahead. I got a couple things to tease and announce, so uh, I picked... Two of these up today at the local Target, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dig right in while I talk to you guys. Just so you guys, I know you guys have been waiting for a while. We were a little late, just a little late. It's gonna happen. Uh, we got we got lives, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I apologize, but we're gonna try we're gonna try to keep it to a minimum. But anyhow, uh, let me where are my sleeves at? Oh, right there. Make sure uh, we got the sleeves and top loaders ready, just in case we get a good hit. And uh, if the music is too loud, let me know. I'll uh, be happy to adjust it. Or if I'm too loud, I can get a little excited sometimes. Let's go ahead and dig into this uh, Vivid Voltage first. Well, actually, you know what? Hold on. No. Ah, yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead and dig in. So we got Vivid Voltage and one Chilling Rain first. 
So the Target in our area, if you guys don't know what Target is in the United States, Target is a, a big retailer that um, they regularly restock on their Pokemon cards and sell them for retail. And uh, they... What is this? I don't need to move this. They restock today, but they only have a, a limit on a... Uh, on the booster packs so each person can only have two booster packs can only buy two booster packs or two pokemon products at a time so <clears throat> these are the two i got from target today let me go ahead and dig right in she said hi tatiana says hi okay let's go ahead and do the old card trick kind of ugly, isn't it? So let's cover it with something. I forgot to do a background. I'm too, like, worried about everything else. Okay. Um, anyway. We got something kind of exciting to not really announce, and I didn't talk to Miss Ren about this beforehand, but I'm just gonna tease it for you guys here. But she may be planning to uh, stream on her Twitch on her own time. She may be uh, streaming some uh, gaming. So um, look out for that. I'm not sure what her Twitch handle is, to be honest. But I'll post it. In the, I'll start posting it in the links below. <clears throat> Just so you guys can uh, check it out whenever you guys have free time. I don't know what her schedule will be. But uh, she's. Uh, if you guys heard of Genshin Impact, she's going to try to start streaming that all over PS4. Our PS4. And... Um, <laughs> Yeah, and Twitch is a, if you guys don't have Twitch, Twitch is a really cool place just because it's a, it's a lot more, I feel like Twitch is a lot more interactive than uh, YouTube is when it comes to chats and the community. So um, if you guys uh, don't have Twitch, I suggest you guys, you know, go ahead and uh, make an account, register. Twitch is a really cool place. Let's jump right into this. It was chilling rain. I saw the card in the back, and it's not. It's, it's, I'm not gonna be happy. Uh oh! Chilling rain. <laughs> so looking for that mole trace. It's not coming yet. But anyhow, those are my two warm-up packs. Um, what else do I have to announce in uh, in addition to your uh, possible Genshin, Genshin Impact? Oh, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this thing where every I'm gonna, I'm gonna do every Wednesday, you know, because uh, Wednesday t Wednesday s tends to be sort of a slow day, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this for Wednesdays. But every Wednesday, uh, I'm gonna start doing this thing where uh, I get a random person in chat and pick them as a giveaway winner. The giveaway winner. The I'm, I'm, I need to name it something so it's a, it's a lot easier to roll off the tongue. But the Wednesday winners, the one Wednesday winner that I choose, it'll be uh, off of a random, uh, random, a random number generator. That person will be able to choose one pack on the screen, and I will open the pack in front of them here on the screen, and they get to choose. I mean, and they get to keep every single one of the cards in the pack. I'll sleeve everything up for them, and send it to them free of charge as a giveaway <clears throat> and so I'll start doing that maybe next week yes anywhere in the world as well because I want I want to I want everyone in the world I, I know you guys are from all from different countries so I want you guys to be able to uh, uh, enjoy uh, collecting physical cards even if you're not able to collect immediately in your uh, current countries you can slowly build up your portfolio and you know like maybe one day uh, you move to the states or somewhere or maybe in your country they start selling them as well uh, you guys can you know you guys already have a head start a head start in front of everybody sorry i kind of fumbled my words there so um just to just to give you guys a taste of how exciting it can be my friend Eric Tan here. I actually uh, know him in real life. Actually, my brother, one of my brothers. Uh, he's gonna get first dibs on the first pack today. I'm not gonna do this this Wednesday, but it's gonna start next Wednesday. But Eric is gonna get his own 
Eric is going to go ahead. I'm going to put a layout of choice of three packs on the screen. And he's going to get a choice of which pack he wants. And I will open it in front of him. Because uh, he helped me out a lot today uh, with uh, a couple of errands, a couple of chores. So I'm, I'm like, you know what? Uh, let me give you something in return. Uh, packs are like $5 a piece in, in, around our area. So it's a, it's a nice chunk of change. It's not like the most I can give. But I'm not going to give the most to him. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> Let's see. Got one there. One there. Oh shit! I almost forgot. I got something else too. Yeah. Oops. I, I got I got a couple more things after this actually. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, okay, Eric, you got a choice of this Vivid Voltage, this Chilling Rain, and the Battle Styles. That's uh, actually in a blister, and I can't take it out right now. But if you choose a Battle Styles, I'll open that uh, blister, and I will open it right here. But uh, go ahead and choose which one you want, and then I got you. And we'll open it right here on stream, and then I'll sleeve everything up and ship it to you. Just kidding, I'm going to drive it to you. But... I'm gonna shit. I would hypothetically, if this was a fan, if, if this one of our, if this was one of our friends like Matthias or or Deoxel, we would uh, have them. We would have you guys. Uh, uh, the, 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 sorry, we would have you guys DM me the Tims on Discord with your uh, your uh, shipping address, and then I would ship it to you guys, all sleeved up, blistered up, and everything in a little in a nice little package, and then you guys would uh, uh, receive it in a few days. Vivid Voltage, all right, let's do this. Let's get that chonka chew for you. <clears throat> so this is for Mr. Eric Tan, this Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage with Zarud in the front. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up and see what you get, my friend. At the very least, let's, let's get you an amazing rare, right? All right. You guys ready? This is for Eric. We got the Fighting Energy. Crocorock. Let's 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 focus, camera. Let's focus this high pressure situation. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna keep going. Extra drill. That's beta. Why won't it send? Why won't it focus, man? My goodness. Let me get a new camera. Got that Weedle, Beldum, Fanpy, Duskull, and your reverse is a Pharaoh Seed. That's not promising. And then in the back we have a non-hollow crocodile. That's unfortunate. But it's free, right? You get some free stuff to add to your collection. And how this would work is that I would go ahead and uh, if you guys were uh, out of the country or um, just, you know, like not someone I know in person, I would just ship it to you guys all sleeved up like I'm doing right now. Yeah, it was, uh... Oh, shit. Where my other sleeves? I was hearing about the trainer's uh, toolbox. Toolkit. I think uh, Miss Ren actually ordered the, the first trainer's toolkit. And it actually came in today. Can I go grab it real quick? Yeah. I'm going to show it off to the, to, to the people real quick. Yeah, I should do that.
So it'll all be sleeved up. And if you guys got a hit, I would obviously uh, top load it for you guys. So make sure it's uh, completely protected in the mail. Let's start. That's mine. That's mine. Just uh, leave it somewhere. Just, just, yeah. Now we'll just uh, put it in some kind of baggie like so. And then just uh, bubble wrap it and make sure it's protected. And then send it through the mail and uh, it'll be yours to keep for free. And that's how it's going to work, starting next Wednesday, so uh, uh, 29th, no, 28th of Wednesday, so the 5th, I believe, or the 4th of August is when we'll start it. Every Wednesday, I'm going to start doing that. <clears throat> Anyhow, this is the Trainer's Toolkit. We're going to be opening this on a, on a Monday, uh, Friday, Friday. This, is, this belongs to Miss Ren, she bought this, I'm not sure what she did. What, why she did it? Everything you need to build a powerful deck. Okay, to be honest, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what this is. But we're gonna be opening this on Friday. Everything you need to build a powerful deck. Turn your card collection into playable, fun, and winning Pokemon trading card game decks. Inside this box, you'll find a plethora of trainer cards, energy cards, plus deck builders. Got to yeah, you know, it's, it, it sounds fun. I'm just wondering. It comes with four booster packs, I believe. I wonder what booster packs they are. So that's going to be kind of fun to uh, to um, to kind of uh, prod through. But now, let me uh, turn my attention. I actually uh, meant to screen share last uh, last stream with you guys on Friday when we did the mystery box and mystery pack. So let me do that now because I screwed up. You guys look over here that's my uh, setup so this is the pokey bros trading website this is the mystery box website that we uh that we got it from um miss ren actually got the uh got a hookup through uh ig i, I believe right he uh, messaged you through ig and um really cool guy really upstand uh upstanding guys is that is that is that what they say nowadays <laughs> they um they offer $50 mystery boxes, all USD obviously, $50 mystery boxes, and the mystery box mini that is uh, $20 worth. And uh, you see that this is the pool that you can get from. You get one booster, two, sorry, two booster packs in the mini. And it could be any one of these. Uh, anyone from Sun and Moon, most Sword and Shield, most XY, Shining Facing Fates, Champion's Path. Uh, you can get some vintage cards, reverse hollow and regular hollow cards, and bulk cards would just be commons and uncommons. Uh, it goes to the mercy box here, same thing, except you get a little bit more for $50 USD. Uh, and that's that. And this would be darkstalksgaming.com. This would be darkstalksgaming.com, and this is the seller that we got. Um, these mystery packs from the, the one that we've been opening every day for like every stream for the past couple of weeks um, for ten dollars each I don't see the mystery packs on the website but they are selling still selling it on Facebook um, if you guys are in the States they sh they will obviously sell it to you and send it to you I'm not sure about international lot, but I can go ahead and check if you guys are interested um, but otherwise they have a lot of cool stuff to Kanto Legends shirts that they made on their own which, by the way, Miss Ren also wants to sell some shirts, uh, self-designed shirts in the future. So keep a lookout for uh, any kind of apparel, tabletop RPGs. They have a lot of stuff on here. This is DarkStalksGaming.com. Um, so obviously, it's not just Pokemon stuff. It's everything else. They got Digimon TCG as well. Speaking of which, I have Pokemon cards right here, or Digimon cards. I got the Great Legend booster packs sitting next to me ready to open as part of the warm-up all right so stay tuned for that uh, apparel let's see what they got for apparel oh this bracelet looks pretty nice regular price is $15 now it's $6 on sale about 70% off I believe got dark stocks gaming beanie this free advertisement I should be getting paid for this man <clears throat> anyhow
I know you guys saw that, right? <laughs> that would suck if I went through all that uh, that presentation and uh, I, I failed the screen share again. But I'm, I'm sure I got it right this time. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, let's see. Let's, let's jump right in. I said I have some great legends. Uh, I also uh, believe Deoxel made the suggestion. I had already planned to bring him in, but then now I was extra motivated to bring him in because the Oxel had requested some, and here we are. We got a couple of packs, and we got some more packs coming as well, because I didn't buy this too. I bought like five or six or something like that, so they're going to be sticking around for the future. Um, let's see what we get, you know? I took a quick look at the um, the, pool, the cards, the card list from here. Uh, I think top chase cards right now are the Lusamon, Secret Rares, and uh, Ultra Rares. It's really cool. Take a look at the pack art. This a lot of this stuff is from uh, Digimon Season Four. If you guys, um, if you guys uh, watched Digimon at all, there's a little the the, the human Greymon. I forget what it's called to be honest. That's the metal Greymon in the back. I know that one. Um, you got a Garurumon over here. I think the metal Garurumon. Enough of that. Let's let's open it, alright? Right? right? <clears throat> uh, where are my scissors at? The purple scissors. But yeah, if you guys uh if you guys stick around every Wednesday I wanna try to do one uh one booster pack giveaway. Uh just for you guys, just so you guys can uh I know a lot of you guys say that um, they, they don't sell Pokemon cards in your country. Well, I'll send them send them out to you, right? Why not? War Greymon. I don't know the card trick for this, so we're just going to flip through them. I don't know what this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Tier 2. Oh, this is a card list. Okay. So this is a card list for uh, Great Legend, this set. Pretty cool. But then let's go ahead and uh, flip through these. Let me put my glasses on. I can't see. I'm blind as a bat. So we got a Skull Scorpio Mon. I'm assuming this is a common. Yeah, the rarity would be over here then. Right there. It's a C. It's kind of hard to see because my camera is a potato. It's Aqua Viper. Another common. Gabumon! I remember you. Really cute Pokemon. Sorry, Digimon. That's a common. Meteormon. I really like these cards, by the way. Uh, again, these uh, these new um, these new TCGs coming up. This uh, I believe this this TCG just uh, released just a few years ago, around the same time as DBS. I believe I'm not I'm not quite sure, but the quality is just absolutely amazing. Kudamon, another common. Geo Greymon, very cool looking. I really like that art. The art is amazing. This is another common though. Strabimon, another common. Soundbirdmon. Digimon isn't really a Pokemon copy. I think it's just the the abbreviations. Digital monsters will be Digimon. Pocket monsters become Pokemon. It's a, it just sounds the same, that's it. The Gabumon looks different. I believe the company's a... Uh, I would say the... Um, a lot of um, trading card games... Uh, they hire like different artists and stuff, so a lot of the artwork could look different, I believe. Well, here's our first uh, uncommon though, Sound Birdmon. Another uncommon, Lalamon. That's Bushi Akumon. Okay, another uncommon. That's a that's a Boncho Leomon. That is our rare for the pack. And we got one more in the back. I like this art. Oh, 
it was just this year. I do remember, um, I do remember visiting one of the, the shops. I think someone was asking about the Digimon cards and they did say they just came out, but they were refusing to sell it. They had the, the booster boxes out on the shelf, but they couldn't serve or uh, sell it for some reason. And that was a while ago, but got some now. Kari Kamiya. Oh, so you get two rares per pack. That's pretty cool. You get a lot of value out of, out of each pack. And I'm real. I really... This is pretty unique right here. If you guys see, that only the outline is in hollow. That's very cool. It looks really, it looks really crisp. Yeah, you guys can definitely see that. That looks really cool. I'm a fan, 100%. Here's our second pack for tonight. So there's no card trick, by the way. You just uh, flip through them. So that's easier on me. Another card list, card thing. Oh, you know what? I just realized I didn't look at the back of the cards. Here's the back of the cards. It's really cool looking. I think um, the, the, the back face of the cards, nothing beats Yu-Gi-Oh, to be honest, because it's so iconic, but... I mean, a lot of these new ones coming out are really, really cool. Actually, the the ones for the Dragon Ball one, the Dragon Ball Super one is really cool. I really like this back right here. But you know what? The Digimon's not bad bad either. It's really cool. Really cool looking. Anyhow, moving on. This is our common Skull Scorpiomon. We got a Labramon. <laughs> That's cute. A Geogramon. We already saw you. Hippogryphonmon. Really cool art. I'm really, I'm really digging the art for this set. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It looks really good. Blimpmon, based on a blimp, obviously. Galgamon, Galgamon. He looks badass. Fugamon. That's like, I don't know any of these. I think I only watched like some of the original. The, uh, sorry, some of the original, and I watched some of the. Uh, uh, fourth season. Actually, I watched a lot of the fourth season, and I was a big fan. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people didn't like the fourth season, but I really like the fourth season. That is Spinomon. That looks that looks really cool. That's our uncommon. Piranamon. 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 It's obviously based on a piranha. Another uncommon. And this is our last uncommon. Should be our last uncommon. We've got a Budmon. And then our first rare would be Pollen Spray. Alright. Nothing too much to look at, but then I really I really dig the, the, the way they uh, the way they switch up the hollows a lot. This one has a hollow little lock over here, security effect, whatever. And then the hollow border looks really cool. In the back we have a Plutomon. This is a super rare, I believe. Looking very nice. Let me go ahead and sleeve this up. See, just opening different kinds of TCGs just really, like, makes me happy, because, come on, look at this. It's, it's, it's different from Pokemon. It's not the same thing all the time, you know? Obviously, we're going to be doing a lot of Pokemon, but, you know, when you're opening Digimon cards, shit. And Deoxo, just because you want you, you love Digimon, I'm down to keep on opening it for you, man. <clears throat> and that is it for the Digimon for today, though. I gotta say, I gotta... I gotta save it because I, I got some more coming. I got some more coming for you, I promise. <clears throat> Anyhow, let's put that away. Um, let's go ahead and dig into our last mystery pack before Miss Ren gets in here with her own warm ups. Why aren't you sleeping, baby? Why aren't you sleeping? So, Miss Ren's gonna go ahead and uh, get in. <laughs> gonna go ahead and after this she's gonna go ahead and come in here with her own warm-ups before I start the uh, main event which is a uh, weighing of the packs and taking a look at the potentially resealed Sobble tin. Alright, 
really exciting stuff. I might be getting more of this stuff. I, I really enjoyed opening these uh, mystery packs. But for now, this is going to be our last one. This is our uh, vintage card. So that's going to be the last, last card. I'm going to put this upside down. It's a little uh, Dark Stocks Gaming business card, as always, included in every order, every pack. Put the super rare in the back, flip it, and now we got a reverse hollow Buizel. A hollow decidui, very nice looking. And then we, we flip, and we flip, and we flip. How are you guys doing tonight? How's your, uh, you guys watching the Olympics? You guys uh, following the Olympics at all? Uh, how's your country's doing? Who are you rooting for? I would love to know. I personally only uh, follow the basketball. I don't care about anything else, to be honest. Philippines! Uh, Miss Ren is rooting for the Philippines, and they just actually won their first gold medal in their history, which is surprising to me. I thought they would have had a couple, you know, but it's their first, and uh, congratulations to the Philippines for making their first gold medal, and this is our super rare. In the back, three, two, one. Let's see Woo! what it is. It's another Cinder. I literally just got one like a couple days ago Woo! out of this mystery pack, but I'll take it nonetheless. Woo! Some more bonuses. You know what? You know what, uh, Eric? Let's put this in your. Uh... <clears throat> so you get a Cinder as well with your uh, Vivid Voltage pack. And our vintage card. Woo! With our little, uh, I believe it was the Rapid Strike one. Woo! Or is Rapid Strike the blue one? I don't know. Who cares? Woo! Three, two, one. We got a Mr. Mime from Jungle. Nice. Very good looking. Centering is spot damn on. This looks good. There's some slight edging issues on the bottom, but otherwise this looks pretty immaculate. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with this. This is a non-follow rare. So out of the 10 that, that we got, only one of them turned out to be a, a hollow, which I mean, that's, that's part of, you know, pulling the uh, mystery packs. You're not always going to get something good. Oh yeah, this looks solid. There's some, uh, obviously there's some whiting issues down here. On this corner and up top as well and actually a little bit in this corner as well but <clears throat> otherwise I mean this looks pretty good I reckon I can get like an 8 out of this maybe into a little penny sleeve oh sorry sorry mr. camera I want to demote you to being the uh, face cam soon after we get a proper camera for the for the for the cards for this area right here that's pretty cool and that is it for Dark Stocks Gaming Mystery Packs for the time being. I really enjoyed them though. <clears throat> Hell yeah, Eric, I got you. I got you, buddy. You keep you keep on uh, helping me with my errands, I'll get you some more shit. The Oxlo, shout out to the Philippines. Hello, congratulations for your first world, uh, world medal, or sorry, gold medal. Um, Good things about the Olympics, Matthias. Uh, how so? Like, uh, is it a, uh, is it more competitive this year? Do they are they running it better, more entertaining? I'm not sure. I don't really follow it unless it's a uh, basketball and the United States getting our asses kicked. So <laughs> I don't really care much about them right now. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Oh. Anyhow, uh, Miss Wren. Let's go ahead and uh, get your warm-ups in before I uh, start my main event. Everyone, say hello to Miss Wren. Hi, hi, hi. All of them? Just the last one. All of that? 
Aren't you gonna? I thought, I thought you wanted to save some. Yeah. Okay. Where's my? Oh, hi guys. I'm gonna open this one and the Andrew. Hi, Matthias. Mm. Hi, Eric and Diaxo. Hi, everyone. I'm gonna open my Happy Meal and Chili Rain. And more Chili Rain to come. Beep <laughs> Chicken out? I think so. Ah, panicking. Ah, man, I have everything already. Okay, I hope I get the mulches, huh? It's gonna be mad. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. This Wednesday stream, I'm planning to show off. Actually, Ren can show off her. Uh, Miss Ren can show off her uh, collection, and we can kind of figure it out on her on our own how much how much she's missing. So uh, stay tuned for that Wednesday. Whoop, 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 whoop. But I'm so excited about this because I'm trying to learn about the game, like the actual game, not like just you know like being opening some packs and stuff. It's it's good. I love it, but collecting, you, you know, mean? yeah, collecting. <laughs> yeah. So on Wednesday, let's see how many packs do I. I mean, let me. I mean, on my Happy Meal, let's see how many. Uh, I needed to get. So I have. It comes with four packs. 150 random and 65 sleeves and two book seven dice and two coin that's too much let's see on wednesday friday friday no, 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 friday oh friday okay friday okay <coughs> that's it Shoo. well you have a lot of stuff to do today all right let's go ahead and uh 
Oh yeah, thank you, Miss Friend, for your uh, little presentation and a uh, sneak preview for what's coming on Friday and Wednesday. Actually, uh, this Wednesday we're uh, gonna be still we're still gonna be opening some packs, but we're mo it's mostly gonna be a chill day. You guys can ask us any questions you want about us, uh, about you know life, our interests, hobbies, <laughs> video games. You know, all that good stuff, and we're also going to be showing off uh, our collection. And um, obviously, because uh, Wednesdays are going to be days where we're going to be doing a little bit more chill stuff, obviously we're gonna th we want to throw in something uh, uh, cool for you guys as well. So that's why I'm, I want, I've am i decided I wanted to give you guys some, uh, a small giveaway every Wednesday, which is the, a pack or two every Wednesday for you guys. So stay tuned for that. For now, go ahead and uh, move this out of the way. What's... Larian Soul King V. Kind of just put that. Did you want to keep these? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> you just put them out. I'm gonna put them into my uh, my. <clears throat> I was about to put them into my pile. But for now, um, part of the main event. The Sobleton. So. I bought this Sobble tin off of Amazon, and the reason why I held off on uh, opening it is because if you look over here, this looks really bad over here, the way they wrap this up. It doesn't look like anything that will come from factory, and there are instance, instance, instances <laughs> where people reseal them, and when they do reseal them, they, they what they do is they open up the factory seal, obviously. They take this out. They leave the they leave the promo in there, obviously, because right now it's not much a uh, not not much of value to them. But they look into look into the packs, reseal the packs. Obviously, these ones come with X Y evolutions, or at least a lot of them did. They will look for the X Y evolutions, take out what they need from X Y, reseal it, and then reseal this box with their own sort of shrink wrap. This doesn't look factory to me. I've never had a tin, or at least a legit tin, look like this over here. Now I could be tripping. I could. This could be some kind of a. Uh, could be thinking a little bit much. But even, even then, if you look over here, it looks awfully tight over here. It looks all terribly uh, mountainous over here. <clears throat> Same thing for this side. If you look over here, every single, pretty much every single uh, corner is wrapped. Or is a overheated? It looks like over here as well. On this side, this is side number three, and only one side doesn't have isn't as a, apparent. But it doesn't it doesn't look good, is what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and dig into this and see uh, if it is uh, see if we can determine whether it's resealed or not. Obviously, uh, if they did a really good job, we may never know. There's always that chance. But, us, us, but usually, uh, usually there's a um, there's enough evidence for us to kind of like conclude that it, it is resealed or not. How's the texture of the plastic? What do you mean? Does I told them. Right here. It's kind of thick, I guess. I believe um, from uh, Pokemon Center factory sealed, it's the, the the plastic is a little bit softer. But then again, I might be just tripping. So let me go ahead and uh, just tear through this. Let's club for fingerprint. So now it's open. Uh oh. Again. Just a disclaimer, I don't claim to just, I don't think it's resealed. There's only a chance. I almost showed the code card. I might have did. Oops. But the code card is there. Inteleon is there, obviously. And this is supposed to come with five, I believe. Yeah, five booster packs. So let's go ahead and flip through them. There's our sword and shield. Another sword and shield. Burning shadows. Crimson invasion. And fates collide. Where's that? There should be an evolutions in here. I'm not sure. 
mix. I don't think these are supposed to come with Fates Collide. Or maybe they were. They're, they are supposed to come with at least one XY, but maybe I just got the one that didn't come with XY evolutions. But then there all, is always a chance that they took out XY evolutions and then resealed. They didn't even uh, package anything with, or reseal any of the packs. So there's always that chance. But if you look at any of these, like none of these, none of these packs are a high, uh, highly sought after packs. You know, Sword and Shield base set, not really. Crimson Invasion, their ETBs go for like retail still, and they're out of print. Burning Shadows is probably the only one. Let's take a look at the Burning Shadows though, see if it's, it's kind of sus. It doesn't look awful. It doesn't look like anything's off. I would say I'm inclined to say this is a legit pack. No any no hints of tampering, no hints of uh oh there's this actually. Yeah. But even then it's still no, that's that looks okay. There's no hints of fading on the on the on the cr along the crimp. There's no. Uh, it's it still feels like it's like tight. Once a uh, when you when when they package everything together like this, and they sh and they just have it sitting on shelves and it just sits like this for an extended period of time, everything just kind of like just kind of like binds together, and it still feels like legit. It still feels binded together after sitting for so long, so I'm inclined to say it's legit. Uh, I'm a little disappointed there's no XY, but what can I do? I would say though, if they were never meant to come with Fates Collide, I would say it's resealed. Uh, I'm gonna weigh the, the Japanese packs, not these, because you can't really uh, weigh these. But I might actually start weighing uh, modern packs just to see uh, just to see if we can like kind of like uh, differentiate um, the hits from the non-hits because uh, like I said the the game the game codes that they come with it that come with it the game cards the code cards sorry they if there's a hit if there's a hollow in the pack they'll give you the lighter code card to kind of balance out the weights. So it's kind of it's so it's really really hard to to weigh modern packs, but older packs and packs without a uh, code cards, that's it's it's all get it's it's all bets are off. You can definitely weigh them. All right, let's get this out of the way. Let's uh, start off with Crimson Invasion because it's my least favorite set I think out of this out of these. Actually, I don't like any of these sets over here. Maybe Fates collide a little bit more than the others. But this is our, uh, this one opens really easy. This one is Good luck. Crimson Invasion. And we start off with this core fish that is massively off center. Massively off center. Look at that. That's worth something, right? That's gotta, that's gotta be worth something. Now I say I don't really like, uh, I don't really like the set, but I would still want to hit, right? I think this one comes with a Gyarados. That's really nice. I would love that Gyarados. I don't really remember anything else that comes with it. It's just that Gyarados. I believe it's the Gyarados at least. We got Xerneas. All of these are really off center. It's absolutely amazing how how off center these are. This might be worth something. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve it up just in case. But we got a Hollow Xerneas and a Reverse Hollow Remoraid. Both ridiculously off center. This is way off toward, way off towards San Diego over here. Take a look at that. And the Xerneas ended up around the New York area. <clears throat> Dive the sword and shield. I'm a little bummed out, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I, was, I, I thought I was gonna get into some kind of XY evolutions today, but they denied me that. They denied me that pleasure. Yeah, the Crimson Invasion is a absolutely gamer, gamer zone. Crimson Invasion is they're they're, they're worth so little. They're, like I said, they're eat they. I'm pretty sure they're still out of print, 
they haven't been reprinted, but their ETBs only go for maybe four forty dollars, forty five dollars. The uh, their value is really really low. Right now we're in a Sword and Shield base set. Here is our Reverse Hollow Potion and a Hollow Toxicroak. That looks nice. Not bad, not bad. Here's our second Sword and Shield base set. I, I honestly, I've opened plenty of Sword and Shield base sets, but I don't really remember anything I really liked. There's, no, there's not much I really liked from the Sword and Shield base set. There's no like chase cards that I really I was really interested in. I like this art though. I have to say, this Hitmon Chan art, I really like this art. I like any kind of art with like thick outlines and like high contrast between the Pokemon and the, the background. It looks really nice. It's kind of blurry on the screen right now. I need I I'm gonna get a new camera, I promise guys. Plus Goldie. Oh that that's some beautiful art right there for the Goldine. Like a Japanese koi pond. Roselia, Ghastly, Ponyard, our reverse is a Krabby. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and we got a Dreadnought again with the thick outlines, high contrast with the background. Very beautiful card, worth shit though. Let's move into Fates Collide, our only XY pack of the. Ooh, this didn't feel that good. I don't think it's a. Uh... I don't think it's sus though, because there's really no point in resealing this. Three to the front, since it's XY. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it, shall we? We got a Duosian, a Kangaskhan, Cottony, Burmy, Snubble, Bronzor, Mencino. There is our reverse Pokemon fan club, and in the back we have a non hollow Lucario card. But here is the big boy. Could have been XY, but nope, we got Burning Shadows instead. I'm so, I'm so, you know, after Miss Ren pulled the, the reprint of the base set Charizard on, uh, on stream out of XY, I've, I've, I've been wanting XY so bad. I'm going to get some XY in here, because I want my own Charizard. I got a little stage envy when she pulled the Sard. These are massively off-center as well, if you guys see that. Way to the left. Goodness gracious. Why does Japan get like all the really good stuff? Really high quality control, better looking textures on the car, just better everything. Goodness gracious, got Noctowl. Elect the art looks badass on this Electabuzz. I'll I like that. Dupider, Togodamaru, Wimpod, Meow. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Got the Magic Harp. Really nice. Uh, I like this artwork as well. Thick outlines, high contrast, like I've been saying. And we got a double Meowth. One common, one reverse foil. Very nice. And Electivire in the back. The big brother of Electabuzz earlier. Very nice. It could be resealed. It's a... Uh, I, I, I honestly don't know. It's just every single every single of these tins, the, those Galar partner tins, I've I've only seen seen uh, XY Evolutions. You know, Gamer Zone. Um, so the fact that this has Fates Collide the one time it has Fates Collide, maybe I'm just ignorant. I don't realize that maybe Fates Collide could come with it because they don't promise XY Evolutions. They promise an XY booster pack. So it could very well be resealed. I don't know. But then the, the way the packs felt, they didn't feel resealed, but they, they can very well have been replaced. I don't think the packs themselves have, have been resealed, but I do think there's a high possibility that someone came in here, took out the evolutions, and replaced it with Fates Collide. I, I I think that's the worst case scenario here. Definitely not worth the 50 bucks I paid for it though, god damn it. <clears throat> it's okay, I got popcorn chicken and some milk. Uh sweet milk. But now, here is the exciting part. What you guys see here before you right now is a horrendously cheap scale. And when I say horrendous, oh! <laughs> uh oh.
when I say horrendously cheap, I mean 30 bucks for a lab scale. Let's try to center it. So, what we're going to be doing, I, get, I just gave you guys a little uh, tips and pointers when it came to the uh, to resealed tins, and now I'm going to give you guys some uh, tips and pointers on people who sell booster Japanese booster packs individually, on whether it be on Facebook or on uh, any kind of secondhand website, OfferUp, Craigslist, anything like that. So. I got this idea because when I was, I regularly browse my local Facebook listings, you know. I regularly browse my local Facebook listings and I, uh, I was actually looking for um, Towering Perfection or Skyscraping Perfection, if you guys don't know what that is. It's the, the sister uh, set that came out in Japan alongside Blue Skystream. But then I found a couple listings, but they were both selling them out of the booster boxes as uh, individual packs. Now, the problem with this is that the Japanese booster boxes or booster packs the regular um, packs, the, the like these ones that come with five in each, five cards in each pack, they don't come with code cards. At least the ones that come out as a double sets do. So, for example, for Evolving Skystream, it's gonna, sorry, Evolving Skies, the English set that's coming out the end of August, it's gonna include cards from this set, Blue Skystream, the other one, Towering Perfection, and Eevee Heroes, which is. This one right here. Now the EV Heroes did come with code cards, but then usually from what I've seen, it only comes with, uh, the code cards usually only come with the one, the, the sets that come out on their own. In this case, EV Heroes came out on its own. For Blue Skystream, it came out alongside Towering Perfection. So if I'm right, they shouldn't have code cards in it. And here's where the problem lies. A lot of people will, most likely obviously you can't really uh, tell exactly which cards or which packs will have the hits but by now if you guys have been following the stream or any other kind of Pokemon uh, Pokemon breaker you guys would know that each uh, booster box each Japanese booster box is guaranteed one secret rare at least two V maxes and four V's So, when I start to weigh these, I'm going to go ahead and weigh every single one of them, and I'm going to separate the heavy ones from the light ones from the medium weighted ones. And then we're going to open all the light ones to confirm that they're all the commons and non hollows, and then work our way up to see if weighing these can actually work. And you guys can see that uh, you guys might want to be careful in buying individual packs from uh, a secondhand dealer. Nick Zyman, how are you, man? Thank you for uh, being here, joining us, and giving us your time. Yeah, let's get that Rayquaza for sure. That's uh, my super big... Uh, man, if I get the Rayquaza, I'm going to freak out. I swear to God, Matias. So, I have... If I can find it. I have some post-it notes here. And we're gonna label the heavy ones, and then we're gonna open all the light ones up before we uh, before we do anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and tear this out. Rem use grams. Okay, go ahead. First pack. Eight point six. Let's reweigh that. So around 8.6, 8.58, okay. About the same as well. 
Let's reweigh it just in case. About the same. Uh, Nick, if you weren't here earlier, this is also about the same weight. If you weren't here earlier, I just announced that every Wednesday we are going to try to uh, do a little mini giveaway because we're going to open less packs on Wednesdays. But if you are tuning in on Wednesdays, we're going to, at the end of every stream, we're going to start to give out one free pack to a lucky, uh, lucky subscriber and uh, viewer to try to, you know, keep you guys interested and, um, you know, just uh, trying to spread love around the community. And I'll ship, ship it out to you guys, protected and all. This one's a little heavier, 0.04. Not, it's not significant, but it's just enough. So let's uh, put it in the medium section. Could be a regular hollow. Next pack. It's a little heavier as well. Put this in the lighter section. It's extremely light on this one. 8.57. I appreciate the love, uh, Nick Zyman. That's that's how you say it, right, Zyman? I don't want to I don't want to butcher your name. I appreciate the love, man. Uh, hope to get hope to see you in uh, future streams, and uh, we're doing some big things here. Trying to move fast and uh, upgrade, uh, you know, like camera, the setup, and everything. I want to, I want to, I want to get this uh, as good as possible and create some great content for you guys. So I appreciate the love. This one's heavy, 8.69, almost 8.7. Let's do a reway to uh, confirm. All right, this one's a little heavier, so let's put this on the side. So when I weighed a uh, reverse hollow against a common card earlier, this was American though. The difference was about 0.10 grams. So, let's go ahead and label that as a heavy. And I'm going to label that as 8.7. As soon as I find a marker or pen. 8.7. Cool, cool. Let me get a Sharpie. All right, cool. All right, let's continue weighing. Oh, uh, usually what we try to keep it around 9 p.m. Pacific time. Every uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Around uh, 9 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, we want to try to start doing earlier streams because I think it's a lot, pretty beneficial to all parties. And uh, there's a lot more people viewing at those earlier hours as well. But uh, real life circumstances kind of keep us from doing it. But I mean, we'll, we'll always keep you guys uh, posted. Uh, go ahead and join the Discord. In it, the link is in the description if you haven't already. I try to post everything there and keep you guys updated there for sure. And also, of course, Twitter, uh, IG links should be available. IG shouldn't be available yet, but definitely Twitter is available. And I'm must I I. I promise you guys I'm going to be updating them as soon as possible. Pull it around the mediums. So as you guys can see, it's a, it's a, um, so far the weights are very, very consistent. Around 8.58 to 8.62 grams. That's, that's about the, that's about the average right now. That's a, that's a constant. We only had one heavy pack so far, a true heavy pack, and that was an 8.7. Yeah, let's get that Rayquaza, man. I would actually shit myself if I got the Rayquaza today. Send that into BGS right away. This this kind of heavy. Let's do a third reway. Let's tear it just in case. Let's mark that as 8.67.
I'm telling you, gamer, if I the, the Rayquaza is one of my favorite Pokemon, if I get that alternate art Rayquaza, I swear to God, I'm gonna scream. I swear, man. All right, we're about the halfway point. This is our 15th pack. This feels very light. Ooh, no. I'm not quite sure on the accuracy of the scale, by the way. So bear with me. About 8.66. Let's label that as 8.66. Oh, shit. So the, re the reviews on this uh, scale says it's very accurate. But then the calibration may get uh, thrown off a little bit. But you know what? We're going to... Oh, this one's a heavy, heavy. Let's tear that just in case. 8.69. Let's do a third reway. It's a solid 8.7. Let's do an 8.7 on that one. Remember, each uh, booster box is guaranteed at least one secret rare. At least two VMAXs. At least four V's. Alright. Let's go ahead and continue. I feel like we're getting a lot more heavies now. This is like the mediums. Now let's go uh, level it 0.65. Just to confirm, let's uh, weigh one of the earlier packs. Yeah, still light. Alright. Let's keep going. This one's a little bit on the low side now. Coming back down. Let's put in the mediums. This could be a V. Let's put it at 6.6. Six. A six eight. Let's do a six eight. Oh my god. This one's on the lower side again. You know, at this point, I'm just thinking maybe I should have gotten one of the most expensive uh, <laughs> scales for this experiment. Let's label that as a 6-7. Alright, that's one of the, the lighter ones. So then after I weigh the rest of these packs, I got about six more, six more packs. Bear with me. Hypothetically, actually, let me, uh, let me just weigh the rest of these real quick. It's one of the lighter ones. Two more packs, two more packs, bear with me. This one's really light, goodness. Ooh, open that one first. This one's medium range. All right, let's put this off to the side and count how many uh, possible heavies that we, uh, that we weighed out. Yeah, 30 packs, uh, Gamer Zone. Where's my... No. 
So these are all the heavies, potential heavies that I uh, sorted out. Remember, it's at least one V, at least one secret rare, at least two V maxes, at least four Vs. Uh, that comes out to about seven packs total. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Around the same range, right? About eight packs. That's a you, you. I could definitely see that being a uh, being within range. Okay. So theoretically, the whole point of me doing this is that a lot of I know a lot of the people who've who's been in here, who's been uh, with us from the start. <coughs> Sorry. I need a milk tea break. So a lot of people who um, have been with us from the start. You guys talk about um, how um, you guys are, some of you guys are students. Some of you guys don't have uh, Pokemon cards sold in your country. A lot of you guys don't have money. <laughs> you know, like, uh, I mean... Like us. <laughs> like us, yeah. So, I want you guys to, to kind of like keep in mind that if these really are the heavies and these are the hits, imagine what they're doing where online they uh imagine them buying a, a whole lot of booster boxes from japan they have a plug in japan they they have a whole lot of booster boxes they open them up they weigh out every single pack with a with a proper scale not just a cheap one like mine like a proper proper scale high high quality high accuracy scale they sort sort out all of the hits and then they sell you all of the non-hits for more than retail i see people selling these for five dollars a pack um, five dollars a pack is not retail in uh, America and in America you get four dollars retail for ten cards or sorry Eleven cards not just five cards. So imagine the kind of money they're they're making back But they're keeping all of the the hits including the secret rares that make them money that Rayquaza that uh, gamer zone had gamer I think Matias also mentioned That's going for eight hundred dollars USD raw right now So imagine the kind of money they're getting off with they're making back the money and then some so, always be wary of buying uh, individual packs from anywhere, especially when it's online, okay? Uh, Japanese packs, that is. Obviously, for American packs with the code cards, it's a lot more difficult. <clears throat> but let me go ahead. Which one was the super light one? I want to open that one first. This one was the super light one. So let me go ahead and open this, and uh, hopefully there's no. If there's a code card in there, then all bets are off. <laughs> but there's definitely enough potential heavies in here for to to, to for my theory to stand. That's one pack art. No code cards. And now this also serves as your first look at Blue Sky Stream, by the way, who, which is also going to include cards that are going to be in Evolving Skies coming out in America at the end of August. So, uh, you guys saw it here first, or probably some other channels as well, but you know, you guys are here now, and I appreciate your time. So, we got a Marie, Darmanitan, yeah, yes, Sense of Scorch, alright, well, as you guys can see, light pack no hollows okay let me get the scale out the way now i don't think we need the scale anymore let me go ahead and just, just unplug it and just move it out the way in fact let me ask you guys 27th of August. I think for us it's a 28th of August or 26th of August. I think. Yeah, that is a lot for the uh, Rayquaza, right, Matias? That's it's an it's it's a ridiculous amount. <clears throat> um, but uh, let's see let's see what you guys think. Do you guys want to open all the the lights and uh, kind of lights first, or do you guys want to open these to see if you, we can get if we actually got all the all the hits? What do you guys want? I'll wait for you guys, uh, guys' responses. Let's do the lights first or the heavies first. 
And I'll use this time to uh, lubricate the throat. One for the lights. It also says lights. <clears throat> Save the best for the end. For sure, that's how I like it too. Gamer Zone says light. I think uh, that's enough for lights, right? Let's do. Let's do. Um, we'll do lights, mediums, and then the heavies. Nick says lights. All right, guys. So these are the ones that I kind of uh, sorted out as like the light lights. There could be some uh, regular hollows mixed in, but the regular hollows really don't aren't worth much more than you know just the normal cards. So they're worth a bit more, but not too much. These are the medium lights. I think these would have some hollows say uh, weaved into them. So let's go ahead. Go ahead and cut these open. Actually, let me uh, try to save one more. Ren likes to save the packs. All right, got two. One for me, one for her. I'm gonna cut the rest now. All right, skip bloom. Very nice looking card. That's a Stantler. Uh, I forgot what you're called, I'm sorry. Zinnia, best girl, best girl. You guys know it, that's a clay doll. I'm gonna keep you. I think these are the light ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these now. Make it a little bit easier for me and uh, prevents anyone in the future digging in my trash and getting, uh, getting some reseal material. Hey, Zinnia, it's best girl, I'm saying, man. All right, these are the lights. Let's see if we did a good job weighing or not. Like I said, that scale was a cheap scale. So hopefully it did its job just good enough, all right? Let's go. There's a mining. There's a Flaffy. Energy card. Let's get some uh, popcorn chicken. Yum, yum, yum. Beware puzzle. Forgot what you're called. You got Blissy in the back. <clears throat> Another mining ball toy. Simi pan. Simi, no, that's a Simi sage, I think. Cloister. Uh, popsicles. Cool. So far, so good with the weighing. Got the jump pluff. Ooh, that Ninetales art looks nice. I like you that. So far, so good. So far, so good. Got the Plusle. Pan Sage. Stantler. Some kind of mask. Another Sense of Scorch. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. Uh, I appreciate your likes, appreciate your subscribes, and I most of all appreciate you guys spending time with me, hanging out with us. All right, uh, Miss Ren is kind of busy at the moment, but I'm. Ooh, this art! Holy shit, I love that art. That's an Ampharos. I appreciate you guys giving us your time, just hanging out with us. That's a uh, just taking time out of your day or night or morning or wherever the hell you are in the world means a lot to me. It really does. A lot of people say that, a lot of streamers say that, but I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart. So, I appreciate you guys, 100%, okay? 
That's Chansey. So far, so good. These are all the lights. If you're just tuning in, these are all the lights. I'm opening all the lights and we're saving all the heavies for last to see if we actually did sort out all the hits. <clears throat> and then in this case, the, the whole point of me weighing these out is to show you guys that don't buy individual packs from uh, secondhand, uh, secondhand uh, dealers. People off of Facebook, people off of uh, uh, Amazon, Craigslist, any any anything like that. If they're Japanese, it's better to just from a collector's point of view who is broke. It's it's a, a million times better to just buy the whole box because you you'll at the very least guarantee your secret rare, guarantee your your V maxes and guarantee your four Vs at least. You know, instead of uh, you buy one pack for above retail, like seven dollars, I've seen a lot of these uh, blue blue sky streams go for, and they had already waited out. They know that's it's a light pack, you know. So don't don't waste your money like that. Yeah, it's cheap, seven bucks compared to a hundred. I think they're going for about 130 USD right now. Just just shell out if you if you if you really want the want the cards. If you really want your money's worth, just shell out the money, man. And I don't want you guys wasting your money and wasting your time with uh, these individual packs that have been, already been weighed, most likely. Even though they will tell you that they haven't been weighed. There's a full Arzinia for this pack, huh? That's right. For this uh, set. Back on. Ooh. That's all the lights. So far, perfect score. Those are, those are all the lights. Now we're going to move into the mediums. They're, these are ranging around uh, 8.61 to 8.65 grams about. <clears throat> so uh, let's see how we do. I'm sure there's going to be some uh, hollows weaved in. Maybe the odd V weaved in here. We'll see. We'll see. I think uh, the perfect our perfect uh, track records isn't going to hold up, I don't think. Because... Uh, Actually, maybe in Japanese cards, they, they might. Just because Japanese cards have such good uh, quality control and handling, uh, we, 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 uh, we might. If we do get like a V mixed up in here or a hit mixed up in here, I would, I would, blame, the, I would blame the scale because the scale was kind of cheap. There's a lab scale for 30 bucks. Most lab scales that are like quality cost up to you know, 200 bucks or so for a quality one. Uh, nothing. The yeah, also so the so that first stack of uh, only lights were nothing but uh, no no hollows in there. Nothing. Nothing at all. So so far so good. Oh, there's something here. Oops. Oops. This one might might have been like the eight point six three or eight point six four that I uh, left in here. Oh. It's a Gyarados V. All right, not so bad. Oh snap! That's our one V. I think it was an eight. I think it was a six four that I left in there at the top because I just weighed it because I was uh, trying to. There's our uh, first hollow. That's a hollow Victini. Very nice. If you, I mean, you guys can clearly see the uh, Japanese hollows. Just look really nice, especially because of the border as well. The border, the hollow border adds a lot to the effect of the card. Very nice looking card. And when you guys start doing breaks with us and I start doing those giveaways I mentioned earlier, I'll go ahead and include these in there with you for you guys. Why not, right? Give it back to the community. Spread the love. Keep going. These are mediums right now. So they, there could be some packs of some V's and hits mixed in here because of the just the just an error. I mean, you guys saw me uh, reweigh them, tear them, tear that, tear out the uh, the scale and everything. Make sure it's a uh, completely uh, completely zeroed out and everything. And uh, I did my best with that. Uh, admittedly, very cheap uh, scale. I cheaped out on the scale, and I might pay for it. It's not non hollow there. <clears throat> Four Bs. Four, uh, four V's, at least four V's, at least two V maxes, and at least one secret rare, or one major hitter. Could be a, could be a full art. Here's a V. 
I think it's a Trevenant, these are called. This is called. They yeah, definitely got these mixed up. <clears throat> oh, that's a Salamance. That's a very cool card. I like the art on that one. I dig this one. All right, we're nearing the end of the, the mediums. I'm going to start seeing more hollows, possibly a hit mixed in here. Oh, here's our VMAX. The VMAX Trevenant. All right, all right. I wonder what those... These were definitely heavier than the rest. I wonder what these are, what, what, what are in here. So there's our first VMAX. So like I said, theoretic, oh, that's a clay art, a new clay art, just for Andrew. So theoretically, once you guys weigh out these packs, or a, a scammer would weigh out these packs, he would just open them until he finds uh, his VMAXs and his uh, secret rare, and then just sell, sell the rest off. That's all, that's, that's all he would do. <clears throat> secret rare he also <laughs> Here's the shelter. Beware. Some more non hollows. The sand slash. I don't. Oh my god! There's our secret rare. I wonder what are, they, what are in here then, because these are dead. You guys saw me weigh these out. So far, so good until until we got to this one. What is the weight of that? These weighed between uh, so these weighed between eight point six two to eight point six five or eight point six six, depending on what the scale told me. Because the scale, you guys saw the scale, they changed up a lot. So. <laughs> I was, I was looking at the weights, I'm just like, I, might, I, sh I should have shelled out for a, a better scale. But, um, this might have been one of, the, one of the ones on the heavier side. Or I just didn't check enough. But nonetheless, that is a hit. Did you guys see this, by the way? On the Bagon card, on the Bagon card, at the top there's like little scratches. That's a, that's a cool detail. That really is. Alright, let's move on to our heavies. This is where it gets a little exciting. Obviously, the weights weren't 100% precise, but then the ones that, are, that were a little heavy also yielded some hits. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what these what these yield, because these you guys saw, you guys look back on the VOD as well, you guys saw that these were the heavy ones. 8.66, 8 8.65, 66. Let's open the 6.6s and 6.5s first. Let's see what they give us. So this is a 6.5, I believe. Oh, this was a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, at least I gave it a 6-6. Six, six. That 6-6 six, six, that gives us a Volcarona V. That's our fourth V. Like I said, it's only at least four Vs, at least two V maxes, and at least one secret rare. You, there's always a chance of a double hit. You don't like waifu? Thor 31? Which waifu? There you go. There you go. And that is a hollow toxicity. And that was our 6-5. So this was on the heavier side. Put that one 
of the hollows. And this is our 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> All right. This is a V. That's a Rayquaza V, okay. Could have been the Altar, but whatever, you know. Would have been nice. So, so far, the, the out of the three heavies that I got, the lightest one came out to be a uh, just a regular hollow. And the two that I've pulled so far are two Vs, which is actually pretty good odds. Pretty uh, pretty good, pretty accurate weighing. So this is one of the this is the heaviest one that I that I weighed. These let's save the two heaviest ones for the last. We'll open the six seven and six eights first. So this one's gonna be a six seven. And don't forget, um, I also have one more, uh, one more of these uh, boxes coming, one more blue sky stream coming, and one uh, towering perfection coming. So you guys get a, a front, a front seat viewing of the preview of Evolving Skies coming out in America at the end of August, August 27th, according to GamerZone. Uh, could be 26th, could be 27th, or I mean, could be 28th. There's a Zygarde, regular Hollow. He was one of the heavies. Put that over there. This is a six seven. Oops. Here's another toxicity. That was also a six seven. And this is our six eight. We got one more, at least one more V Max to pull. Could be this one. We got V Max Gyarados. All right. Also another heavy. So far, very good. That's our two V Maxes. So my guess is as good as yours when it comes to these two. <clears throat> what I think I should do. You can see in the back right here, you got the VMAX Gyarados. We literally just pulled the Trevenant. Yeah, you probably saw, I'm not sure. Four Vs and one Secret Rares. So technically, these shouldn't be any big hits. Even though these were the heaviest, according to the scale. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I could do this another one of these uh, videos again. Or streams again. But I'll get like a proper accurate scale this time. And see if... Uh, it does any... Uh, it gives us anything good, better results. That's a hollow jump bluff or hop. Or, that's not hop. That's jump bluff. I think. I forget. This is Johto. I should know this. And the next. Has, oh my god. That's not good. I'm lucky the the, the rares are always in the middle. I get a double hitter? Nope! It is a Landorus! Oh, snap! And there it is! It's a Landorus! So as you guys can see, weighing them, even with a slightly inaccurate scale, can actually yield pretty good results. So, imagine this. They just open the heavies, work their way down until they get their secret rare and maybe the if uh, if they pull their secret rare v maxes early they'll keep going a little bit get the get the v maxes and then they sell the rest off that's what these guys could do to you so don't let don't be a victim to that don't be a victim to a a weigher like like i said i i, I weighed everything on stream and i showed you guys i opened every single thing on stream i'm not going to be selling these off for, for retail for above retail I'm not I'm not a dirt bag I wouldn't do that to you guys okay but with that being said these are three big hitters from this set that I got I got one more of these sets coming in hopefully I get that uh, Rayquaza 
<clears throat> uh, this, the big hitter, this uh, secret rare was included in my uh, medium, medium uh, heavies. So it could have been a scale error, could have been my error, I'm not sure. But this was included, it could have been an 8.66, 8.67, but I just chose to read the first weight, which would have been maybe 8.62, 8.63. So could be, could a lot. It could have been a scale error, could have been my error, who knows. But it was awfully close to the heavies, right? And which is the point? They can actually deduce the amount of, uh, to reasonable probability where the where the secret, secret rare in each box is. And they'll open until they get that secret rare and sell the rest off. So be careful when you guys are opening uh, Japanese boxes, boys, or Jap uh, buying Japanese packs. Uh, I like I said I don't recommend buying uh, individual Japanese packs because the, it's a high 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 probability that they they had waited already and they're not gonna they and they're selling it to you for above retail because in your mind you're thinking it's an equal chance at a secret rare right but most likely it's not unless they screwed up really bad with the scale um, in this case. I don't think I, if if I if I were to the scammer, I would have I would have reached my secret rare way before way before I got into the rest of the like halfway halfway past way before that. So that was an interesting video. I really enjoyed that actually. Yep, me too. <laughs> you is that right, Gamer Zone? I'm pretty sure the at, at the very least I'm like very positive that each uh, each Japanese box is guaranteed at least one secret rare so people don't get completely gift, gypped. <clears throat> but that's interesting. If that's true at least. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a really interesting uh it was an interest. Like I didn't plan any of this. All right, I I, I didn't uh, stage any of this. You guys saw me cut the box open and everything. I now weighed everything out for you guys, and uh, it actually it actually turned out really well considering all things. It actually did. I'm pretty happy with uh, with what it yielded. All right, it's pretty good. Pretty good. And I'm definitely going to. Uh, I'm definitely gonna look into a uh, doing this again with a more accurate scale, with like a scale that's like you know like worth like a scale that labs would use in school. <clears throat> I'll try to see if um, we can actually narrow our uh, our pursuit, narrow the. Uh, What would be the word? Narrow our sights into like the pack, like as opening as few as as few packs as possible to get that uh, secret rare. But for now, that's uh that is our main event done and over with on Wednesday. If you guys were um generous enough to rejoin us on our Wednesday stream. I believe uh, Miss Ren is going to show us off her collection of cards. Uh, mostly uh, mostly modern cards. We're not going to see a lot of vin too many vintage cards, but there's going to be some some vintage cards uh, mixed in there. Um, I think you guys are going to be uh, pretty, uh, pretty intrigued by the stuff that she has. She's on her for like 40, 40 pounds. 40, uh, is that, is that, that's not pounds, is it? I don't know, euros. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of dumb when it comes to currencies. I'm not gonna lie though, and it's 
a little bit of a popular op unpopular opinion i'm not really into the rainbow rares the hyper rare cards i'm i really prefer the i really prefer the regular rares the the in terms of like the art and how it looks i don't know just the rainbow ones don't look as appealing to me <clears throat> Anyway, uh, like I said, Wednesday. This Wednesday, I'm not gonna start the, uh, I'm not starting the giveaways uh, this Wednesday. I'm starting them next Wednesdays. So, um, but for this Wednesday, I can encourage you guys to keep joining anyway, because there's a chance. You know what? We might have some packs on hand, and we might do a giveaway anyway. Who knows? Um, but we are gonna be showing off Miss Ren's personal collection. Most of it's not. Most of it is ungraded. You know what? Like damn near all of it's ungraded. She only has one graded card. So, it's gonna be really cool, you know, just a, just a vibing kind of night. We get to chat for a little bit, relax, shoot the shit, just a bunch of pokey bros talking, you know what I'm saying? So, I hope you guys see, I hope to see you guys on Wednesday. On Friday, we are going to do the, um, this, Trainer's Toolkit. <clears throat> and Miss Ren has some other things in store as well, I believe she's keen to open a champion's path box as well this double box Let's see if we can hit a zard on there and uh friday's gonna be fun and then i'll announce it here now on monday we have another mystery box and it's gonna be very fun i promise this time it's a hundred dollar mystery box from pokemart collectibles and I ordered this off of uh, eBay. I'll also uh, give you guys a link when I do this uh, stream. It's, it's a pretty big box. I can't really fit it on the camera. But let's see if I can. There it is. Yes, this uh, this didn't come with it. I just put this on just to make it look really pretty for the uh, for the thumbnail. But they actually sent, uh, sent this with the fragile labels on it, which is really considerate of them because, you know, people... The, the shipping and handlers, the ship, shippers and handlers kind of, sometimes they just throw boxes everywhere and, you know. <clears throat> it's not ideal to have your boxes thrown everywhere, you know. So this is going to be on next Monday, which is going to be really exciting. Uh, I can't wait to pull it, to be honest. It could be, um, there could be ETBs in here. There could be some vintage cards, vintage packs. Who knows? We'll see. But stay tuned, that's gonna be on Monday. And uh, again, we're also still doing, I haven't forgotten, we're doing this giveaway, but we're still ironing out some details. Um, please stay tuned though, because this is still happening. Don't, uh, don't think I've forgotten. These guys are, uh, this is my way of saying thank you to the, to the start of this uh, community. And um, one of you guys, one lucky winner will be getting this. So stay tuned for that, okay? CGC 9 Rillaboom V shiny from Shining Fates very modern card but if you stick on hang on to this long enough value could go up shining uh, anything from the shiny vaults are very valuable as you guys can see with uh, stuff from Hidden Fates as well so subgrades are here it comes with subgrades which is uh, which also ups the value as well 8.5 for centering 9 surface 9.5 corners and 10 edges <clears throat> and the overall mint nine which is really good third highest uh, grade you can get uh 9.5 is the, uh, basically a psa 10 and a cgc 10 is basically just it's it's damn near impossible to get on a, on a lot of cards just because quality control isn't that great for american cards okay so like i said stay tuned this is happening promise <clears throat> And uh, if you guys are still here, you know, it's $100 for the whole thing, Deoxel. It's not two boxes. It's $100 straight. Hmm. And obviously we have more uh, Digimon cards for you. And uh, because, Deoxel, you've been around and I really appreciate your uh, your company here, I'll, uh, I'll get you some more uh, Digimon cards in here. Okay? And uh, you know what? I'll send you some as well if you want. Shit, I don't have any plans with uh, some of the Digimon cards. <laughs> if you play the game or something, uh, let me know. I'll send you some freebies. 
I mean, if I pull the loose amount, though, that, you might have to pay up for that, but, you know, like, everything else, shit, it's all yours. Actually, you know what, on Wednesday, I'll open a pack for you, why not? Could be, uh, could be something you're into. Uh, Deoxel, Matias, Gamer Zone. You guys have been here since the beginning, so I mean, I gotta show you guys some love, right? <clears throat> what else? What else? What else? I feel like there's something else I'm missing. I, I feel like there's like some some more stuff I need to announce. Well, I'm drawing blanks right now. Hmm. Oh, uh, again, another reminder. Miss Ren is a uh, Miss Ren is uh, planning to s Twitch stream, uh, playing some Genshin Impact and some other stuff. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be really cool. I'll send you guys her links in the Discord, and I'll start linking it in the description as well. Um, as for this channel, I may move it to Twitch as well. And if you guys move to Twitch with me, I would greatly appreciate it. But for now, we're gonna stay on YouTube just because it's a little bit more convenient. And. Uh, you guys are cool. I want to stay here with you guys. Am I missing anything? Um, nothing. Just Wednesday is... Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yo, like and I said, Wednesday... Some chicken and one more milk tea. Yeah, more of this, more milk tea. <clears throat> more of the Tims, more Ms. Ren. And, uh, like more I said, on video. Wednesday... Like I said, on Wednesday, we're not going to have too many, um... We're not going to have a whole lot of packs opening, but we're going to try to, we're going to try to, uh, we're trying to, we're going to try to make it as entertaining for you guys as possible. And starting next Wednesday, not this Wednesday again, next Wednesday is when we're going to start doing the giveaways. Uh, the, the thing where I did with Eric earlier, where I opened the pack for him and he keeps the contents in the pack. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, I think we're done. I, it's Time flies by. It's already two hours past. I always have so much fun with you guys here. I really, I greatly appreciate you guys' time. Uh, me and Miss Ren both. I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day, coming over here, hanging out with us, watching us open Pokemon cards, and hopefully stick stick around for the future when we start doing gaming and stuff. Uh, just, a, just a vibe, you know? We're chilling here. Appreciate everyone in chat. Uh, Nick, if you're still here, I appreciate your time coming in here, checking us out. Deoxo, Matias, Gamers on the Usual Suspects, Eric, Andrew. Um, uh, I saw another face in here. It's Thor31, if you're in here. I appreciate your time, my friend. Uh, you, you said one thing. You didn't really talk to us, but hey, I appreciate your time either way. I really do. <clears throat> any strangers in here? Every, any Anyone who is viewing the VOD after the fact, after we streamed? I know there was one guy who joined Discord who says... He loves that, that. I love you, uh, bro. I, I I watch you from. I watch the after the broadcast because uh, you're too early during. Uh, because I'm in France and you stream too early. I'm like, you know what? I appreciate you. I love you too. We all love you. All right. Yes. We all love you. We all love you. We all love you. Anyone else who is watching this after after the fact. Um, Again, congratulations to anyone rooting for the Philippines, their first gold medal. Anyone who's uh, following the Olympics, I, I hope you the best. I hope your country the best. Um, that's about it, I think. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Stick around for... Uh, oh, one more thing. Uh, I want to thank Jay Laurie for the opening song. It's Unholy by Jay Laurie. I want to thank the Relaxed Movement the current background music that is playing in the background while we were opening and talking <clears throat> and the ending music by Moonlight Martyr and there was some other guy uh, was it Rainlord who, who produced that? I'm so sorry he's not some other guy I promise but very talented people very, ta very talented uh, musicians Sumita 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 I thought I thought of the wrong song. It was Sumita. Don't forget to subscribe. Love song by Moonlight Martyr, produced by Sumita, is our ending song. Stick around, listen to the music.
give them a like subscribe give us a like and subscribe see you guys next stream i really appreciate you guys hopefully see you wednesday yep see you wednesday hope you guys uh continue to follow us and i'll try to pump out as much good talk but good content as possible have a great night everybody i appreciate your time I mean, I don't want to sound stupid, but all I need in my life is lady music, and I guess you too. Yes, I guess it's true. Not trying to be a love fool, but I like the way you do the things you do. Getting tired of the standard I I eyes, cause in reality, I need you by my side. But if you say no, nah, I won't cry, I won't lie, I'm just not that type of guy. Tolerance is my best trait. I'm just gonna short stream? It was two hours. <laughs> I wish I wish I could do more though I really do. But it was it was two it was two hours long, man. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Your boy can take anything. Your boy, yeah, but I want to be a man. I want to be the only one that'll understand when you need a hand. I'll give you a shoulder to lean. I don't even got to ask. I'll be the soldier in your song. I just wanted to know if you were done. Or if you were up for a night in the town Let's go do what stupid teenagers do Let's go to a party we're invited to Let's start a riot and dish When the cops come through I wanna just live my craziest moments with you So can I write you a love song? It'd be quick, nah it won't be long So I'm on a mission So just give me permission And give me a minute And I'll feel it and deal it And heart will be in every lyric You won't even have to try to hear it Just listen with your chest As the beat continues on You will never regret If you let me write you a love song Just to let you decide if all